one dimensional, or one dimensional, easy going, quaint, dry, balanced, simple, raw, immaculate, crisp, colorful, lovely, down, wanky, funny, funny, squacky, 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 scuzzy, distorted, psychedelic, thickness, wonderful, fun, sweet, 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 lovely, fine, just sexy, sensual, nice, swing, attention to the glistening of face, musical, off to the green, free, 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 Sleepy music. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? What the hell does this mean? What the hell is sleepy music? What's sleepy music? Sleepy music. Um, well, I would think a low tempo, a, um, it depends on the instruments. What, what is sleepy music? Yeah. Uh, usually you, f you I fall asleep to melody melodies uh, given to me by other people psychically as I fall asleep. Sleepy happens if your brain's not engaged. Brian, what's sleepy music? Sleeping music. Yeah. Tell me about sleeping. I'm on the spot here. Okay, so. Slow tempo, a lot of rever reverb. I think it depends, you know, when I want to fall asleep, I listen to whatever. Fuck. I don't know, Led Zeppelin just get rid of high, or Bob Marley or something just get rid of high. What do you think about sleepy music? Yeah, pianissimo um, as well, right? Yeah, like you wouldn't want something too intense or, or something to just, you know, sh wake sudden, right? Because that would wait. That would. Pianissimo. Yeah. Yeah. It's like like. Pee pee. <laughs> yeah. What is what is sleeping music? <laughs> thank thank you. Prove you are not a robot. Please define swanky music. Uh, swanky music is you kind of move when around. You really, with, you gotta have a feel when you're with swanky playing music. The the notes, you know, you know that you go one way. 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 So the thesis of this video is that we often use words to describe music that at first often make intuitive sense, but upon further inspection uh, make less sense or at least require further investigation to really understand. So I posit that we can categorize the words we use to describe music in three categories, objective, experiential, and subjective. This is the science of the music, stuff you might find on sheet music or if you're analyzing the waveform. These are, uh, to the best of our ability, the objective terms. And then a more subjective category that describes the user's experience. If you're ex describing your experience as relaxing or, bu or blood pumping, uh, it's this category. And then subjective is where things get interesting. Really, that's what we want to talk about today. Describing music by its subjective qualities gets difficult and it can be very difficult to describe what they actual me actually mean. So what, is it, what does Fantano mean when he says that Ambrose synths are gurgling? Like, does it sound like he's gurgling water? And what does he mean by cold flat aesthetics? Does he mean simple and unemotional? And what does Adam Neely mean when he says spicy? There is definitely some more spice happening here. And the reason for that is jazz harmony often uses what are called extensions. Maybe he means more interesting. And if so, is it because we're used to simpler triad chords? What does it sound like? What is it it kind of sounds like, have you ever seen, have you ever listened to somebody on, um, what's the thing where they put the tube in their mouth and they play the keyboard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A talk box. And it sounds like that in your ear as you fall asleep. The purest melody you could ever listen to while you're trying to fall asleep. Like it would, it comes in and it sings you to sleep, you know? It's not just like, a, like metal music. I like to listen to some metal too sometimes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Okay. So metal can be sleep. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you know, it just, it's just depends. I think it depends what you like. I fall asleep to Mastodon. What's really? Mastodon? Very heavy progressive metal. Okay, how does that work? It just, because like the lyrics. Because it never changes. It's just like rah, 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 all the time. I can't understand what they're saying, <laughs> so it just blends together. And okay. It's just this constant wave. But isn't the music kind of harsh? Doesn't it stress you out? No, it's very, like, very soothing for... Okay, 
But this is the thing, right? Everybody reacts so differently. You know, you could also see, say, sleepy music in a bad way. Like, yeah. this is trash, this is making me fall asleep. Or, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, I think that we're talking about, you know, soundscapes or stuff like that. There's a lot of different ways. It could it could have different meanings. It's not precise. Yeah. Uh, a lot of synths. Yeah. A lot of, yeah, a lot of synths, but, you know, toned down a little bit, I guess. Yeah, toned down, like... Yeah, you know, more, like, roomy, you know, if you know what I mean. Maybe some echoey... Sleepy music? Yeah. I'm thinking, like, some slow classical. Yeah? Like some, yeah, some real quiet classical little... Some high, some high pitched keys just being played nice and softly. Maybe a little low end bass, just yeah. deep, melodic. So uh, let's say you're making a song. How, yeah, do you yeah. make sure, how do you make sure that it's a sleepy song? I'd get real sleepy. Maybe take a melatonin. Okay. Be sitting there past bedtime, just like lights maybe dimmed them down a little bit. Okay. You know what I mean? And then you so, just kind of play, you just, just got to find a little root note there. Find a nice sleepy sounding chord, like a diminished seven or something. Okay. Then you just kind of work off it, okay. whatever so you you're feeling. Maybe get inspired with a book or something. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So you got you're saying you gotta you get like yourself into a sleepy mood yeah. mood before you before you make some music. For sure. Some people would find Mozart sleepy because it's so following patterns that there's no surprise. Yeah, something that seems predictable. It, it kind of has to be predictable. But that's something I could fall asleep to. Some nice smooth jazz. I used to listen to a lot of jazz in my late university years. I think I could sleep because it's I never know what's coming up. It's not like I kind of know what's going going but you have expectations. Exactly. You can just let jazz flow. There is no expectation. What's the opposite word of sleepy? Awake? Awakey? Vigilant music, wakeful music, woke music. <laughs> And maybe we're talking about the timbre of the sound. If two instruments are playing the same melody, then we can still tell them apart based on the timbre, the, the identity of the instrument. We know that this is the glockenspiel and we know that this is the guitar. But we didn't have to see those instruments to figure that out because we can identify them by their timbre. But in terms of the words that we would use to describe the timbre of these two instruments, that's where things kind of get into the weeds a little bit. It gets more uh, difficult. So maybe the glockenspiel is more tinny and maybe the guitar is more full. So if you go onto AcousticThinkerStyle.com, it says the physical characteristics of an acoustic guitar are easy to identify and compare, which seems completely at odds with the thesis of this video. It describes rosewood as soulful, and dark, mahogany as sweet, soft, round, and balanced, and maple as loud and brittle. Martin Guitars also have a list describing rosewood as resonant and full, and deep and brilliant. East Indian rosewood is resonant, deep, and warm. Koa is balanced, and walnut is woody, punchy, warm, and deep. And this is frustrating because I don't know what a soulful guitar sounds like, unless it's sitting in my hands, you know? And I wonder if these qualities are being exaggerated for marketing purposes or creating a culture for luxury products. Looking at some Ernie Ball strings, it seems intuitive enough with outpid treble, mid bass. I mean, these are objective enough terms. But then they get back into saying balanced, rich harmonics and that signature slinky feel. Like, hmm? What does that mean? A lot of these words are usually applied to other senses, like saying colorful or bright, in which we have a pretty clear understanding of what that means for the other sense. And also describing physical objects, like if something is heavy or wet. So there must be something comparable between a colorful melody and a colorful sunset. There must be something comparable between a 400 ton dump truck and a heavy metal riff. So I figure it must be about our interpretation of these sounds and the ways they make us feel rather than their objective qualities. This conversation of communicating near incommunicable qualities reminds me of a post I saw online comparing uh, visual static to the feeling you get when your arm falls asleep. 
when I first saw this comparison, I instinctively agreed. So there must be, there must be something to it, right? One is visual, one is tactile. It's like our brain is trying to make sense of it, but it's failing to retrieve any usable information. Similarly, you might be familiar with the Bubba Kiki effect where uh, people did a survey asking people to describe these two shapes and people overwhelmingly decided to call this one Kiki and this one Bubba. So perhaps there is something sharp about the sound Kiki and something uh, round about the sound Bubba. You either get mad, sad, or happy about life, and then you decide to put it down in words. Yeah. We're 60s people. What does 60s music sound like? Cool. Jefferson Airplane we could we could deal with. <laughs> what is it? Heavy metal. What do they sound like? Have you ever watched a video of Jefferson Airplane? Yes. With all the... The like swirling water Yes, colors. yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. how it sounds maybe? Absolutely. What's an adjective that you might use to describe that? Youth. Our youth. Youth? Our youth. Yeah. Not your youth. Our youth. Psychedelic. I mean they, they yeah. were psychedelic. What does psychedelic music sound like? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> they're, they're, no, you're getting close you're getting close to heavy metal, but it's not heavy metal. No. I, I don't like heavy metal. A lot of they tried to use what they're doing now with computers. Only they didn't have computers. Right. So they used the instruments to make different sounds and sounds that were, I think, tweak the brain. Oh, that's different. I haven't heard that. You worked to Woodstock. You didn't experience Woodstock. <laughs> we actually went to Woodstock. It was crazy. Yeah. What was the atmosphere like? Muddy. Wet and muddy. Yeah. <laughs> and it was smelly. Yeah. And, oh. Um, not a three hundred dollar a night hotel room. No. That's for sure. Wrap. Forget it. it. Years 2025, and I'm sitting in my backyard, hanging with the guys, reminiscing as we laugh hard in ground pool and a garage with the fast car. It sounds cool to get applause as a rap star. On my own schedule, garden grows vegetables. Moments unforgettable when cheddar wasn't gettable. Now the quotient spreadable and feeling so incredible to give it to the people and not worry about the decimal. Crib equipped for simple living, keep away the simple living. Crystal clean, nothing's hidden. Little queen up in the kitchen, whipping chicken finger licking, dripping in the slickest linen, risen to the top. The vision all in thanks to God's provision I feel blessed and I'm thankful for this life it's a gift that I can wake up every day and see the light give the glory all to God keep on thanking Jesus Christ break the bread sip the wine have a seat here's a slice ice chili like a fridge just chilling on my chain made a milli many digits zero reasons to complain I've made silly decisions TLA Nate TLA mate Nate TLA Nathan mate. Nate shorten it up TLA Nate Sweet. we haven't really haven't really done much yet but it's going big time what is it about rap that you're less of a fan of it's too new if, if we had grown Maybe up I'm in that generation old. perhaps we would have followed rap and been been thrilled with it but we didn't think about bob dylan he was a poet <laughs> a rap artist no he might get his his words out and his language out and some of it's very creative but it isn't a statement on social affairs too much. Oh, well, some of them are, I guess. But Bob Dylan was a poet. These guys hammer it at you. I met Leonard Cohen. You met Leonard Cohen? <laughs> I did. I, I can't say how, but I did. A lovely man, very unassuming. That's what make, made him so brilliant. The, the, the measures were gone, and you're going, Oh my goodness, do you know what he just say? Did you hear what he just said? Oh, whoa, subtle. I think I have some funky tastes, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Funky taste. Well, I mean, what does so, that mean? so to speak. I mean, I, li I like um, sea shanties. Um, I like jazz of, of yeah. different types. Um, Wait, uh, but what's funky music? Um, so do you like funky music? So you must know what it I is, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's like 70s stuff. I mean, I do like a bit of retro, too. Okay. How do I tell when a song is funky or not funky? <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, I'm not sure. 
I, I, you know, I actually did learn that uh, supposedly um, they, they call they call them, they started using the term funky to describe music because like when the, when they did a lot of recording for that kind of music, um, the recording studios would get like really hot and sweaty, and of course yeah. it would leave a funk. So I feel oh, is that true? Uh, I mean, you might want to. Okay. I, I, I welcome you to double check that, but that was just okay. something I learned uh, um, on the radio one time. When you hear funky, you know what it is, maybe. Stevie Wonder. Oh, yeah. Stevie Wonder? How about some swanky music? You swanky, some man? Swanky music? I, like, what genre are we talking about? How Rap? You, you want to make some swanky country music. Some maybe. swanky country, that's like old school saloon, bar stools, cowgirls in the boots. Rap music, though, you're talking like... Swanky rap. Kind of like some west coast lowrider stuff outskirts of like compton straight out of compton stuff you know what i mean some kind of like funky synthesizer bass line okay okay so you're sitting down you got a synth you got a drum machine going yeah, man. and you're like hey boys i want this to be a swanky track how, how do you how do you Honest, make sure it happens i feel like you got to be acting like a weirdo like yeah? to be completely honest like you'd have to be kind of weird kind of grooving speed round all right let's go dynamic music classical again sexy music Oh, I don't know. Cerebral music. Frank Sinatra. No, no, it's not true. Was cerebral? Cerebral. Oh my goodness, like logic? A raw music. Raw. Tupac. Tupac is raw. What Tupac about tight raw. music? Tight? I don't know. Uh, sanitary. Oh, sanitary? That's like some gospel. Gospel? Like what about worship music. Cruise ship music? Worship music. Worship music. Worship yeah, bro. Music. Yeah, bro. Moody. You want some moody music? What's Something that? moody? You're putting on like some XX. Come on, moody? This is music. Music. Moody. Musicians, music, moody. That's, that's just a given. 